Uh, coach, where did it go wrong for you? Where did it go wrong? We lost the game. So what was the moment where you lost? I don't think there was one moment. I think there was obviously over 100 overs, almost. I think there was a number of points. Uh, obviously winning the toss and being able to bowl first was, was very important for them. As it transpired, I think the wicket certainly got easier to bat on in the second innings. Uh, and I thought we, we toiled manfully. We, we were probably a few runs short. We, we got to a position where we could have got a few more runs and to lose uh, a batsman who was set and playing very well in the manner that we did was a little bit disappointing. So we're perhaps 20 runs short of what we could have been. And then we didn't bowl very well at the start. We bowled too short. We got hit to the square boundary too often for my liking. And uh, and they committed themselves to batting 50 of us. So that last partnership was a very good partnership. So we're just not good enough to win the game and, and quite rightly so. You're at the top of the table right now, but uh, before playing against the host, which in fact is going to be a big match here. Uh, do you think that uh, the start of the tournament was a bit sticky for you? Sorry, big what? A bit sticky, sticky tournament for you? Uh, I didn't understand. A bit sticky, a, bi a bit sticky start for you? A shaky start. Yeah. Oh well, we've lost, we lost the game of cricket, <laughs> so you, you're never prepared to lose a game of cricket. But you know, we'll we'll learn a lot from today in in relation to the surface that we played on. Uh, we learnt a lot yesterday from observing Nepal for the first time playing in this tournament. So it's disappointing, but uh, there's areas for improvement. So if that's shaky, then yes, it's shaky. What's your expectation uh, when you play against Nepal with a big, uh, big uh, amount of spect spectators? Uh, well, well, my my job mainly is around preparing the players to play inside the ring. Uh, I'm sure for the players it'll be very exciting to play in front of such a big crowd. You know, unless maybe Rusty Tehran's played IPL, I wouldn't have thought anybody else. Uh, I know Cameron Stevenson has been involved in Big Bash, so they've experienced big crowds, you know. But uh, the rest of the guys, I'm sure, haven't experienced a big vociferous crowd. So uh, we'll be encouraging them to embrace it and enjoy it. But for me, I'll be just preparing them to play inside the ring. So let's see. But it's going to be fantastic. And since we've been here, the support, you know, and the encouragement for not only the game and the home team has been outstanding. So it's exciting to be here. Do you want to start the same yeah, yeah. Saturday as well? Yeah. Uh, so what's your expectation when you play against Nepal uh, in front of a big crowd? Well, it's exciting. It's a great opportunity uh, to perform in front of the spectators. And it will boost us up, I feel. And it will be a big challenge as well. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. Uh, you think that it's going to be the biggest match uh, that uh, US is going to play in terms of having spectators in the in the ground? Lately, yes. I think the last we came here was around quite a few years ago. I think most of these guys are come first time to Nepal. So yes, I guess. I guess. So. Uh, do you think your team was not supported much by the surface that you are playing today? Well, the surface was fine. I mean, it was just the few key moments that we lost, like I mentioned in the match ceremony. Uh, we could have played a little bit smarter, both in batting and bowling. Uh, so that's what we need to go and do our homework and we can even come back strong. Okay, thank you very much. We're just going to jump to Peter. You have a question for Sarah. So, uh, the uh, decision to put Aaron Jones up to go for the US or not, he's never going for you as What was the rationale behind him? It was actually my decision. We put all the pieces of paper in a hat and drew them all out because that's how the batting's been going so far. Aaron's name came out first. <laughs> Finish there. The um, 45 that balls in the power play is, is what USA had in the first ten hours. That was something that USA struggled with going back to the Super 50 tour. It's only been a few occasions where USA has really had a, a positive power play. Is there something um, that you can pinpoint as to why the guys have had such a struggle getting good starts consistently over the last couple months? Um, like Coach said, firstly the toss was a little bit important. It was a little moist and uh, it, was, uh, it was moving around a little bit. But obviously, lately the way our batting has been going, we have a lot of work to put in there. But I mean, that's the best we could do, and I hope we'll, we'll come back stronger next game. Just one more about Oman itself. USA's lost seven straight times to Oman. You've been there for three of those matches. Four of them have come in ICC uh, tournament play. Uh, you were there 
in Oman in Division 3 in, in November 2018, and then again in Namibia here again. Every single time in these ICC matches, it's been chasing. Oman has been successful chasing. What is it about the way they approach uh, the chases that makes them such a challenge to come up against? I think they can, they take the game deep and they build good good partnerships in the middle. Um, and they have quality player, uh, of the players who are street smart, like who use the conditions well. It's credit to them. I mean. But all three games, I think, had gone till the last over or at least in the last few hours. So we're there, we're close. It's just, I think all three times I lost the toss as well. So they bowled first, they backed their fast bowlers to get early wickets and they have got early wickets every time they play. So yeah, that's an area which is going to be better. Hey, thank you, Peter. Any final questions? Yeah, uh, do you think you're sort of spinners uh, who can choke them? Are you talking about Saturday? No, no, no. no right today. Uh, today? Yeah, today. Do you think you're sort of spinners? Shorts, you say, sorry. Um, do you think you're shorter spinners? I think we have a spin power. We had three qualities. It's, in a, it's just that the wicket got a little better. I think we bowled one or two loose balls in an over. And uh, release the pressure. So that's an, that's an area which we can work on to choke in the middle. <laughs> okay. Thank